Hey, I'm Jason. Today in the lab, we're talking about microtorque. I got Bruce Grace with me, product specialist for Electric Tools. Welcome to the lab. Hey, thanks for having me, Jason. I get to be the first guest, don't you I? You are the very first guest. Oh, that's exciting. You and this twitchy guy over here. Oh yeah, that's my cobot. What's a cobot? A cobot is a collaborative robot. Okay. So what does that mean? It works in human space? Exactly. A human can work with this right next to it and it's still safe. So it doesn't need a big guard around it? No, I mean, you bump this thing and it stops. So it's not gonna punch me? Uh, only if I program it to punch you. All right. It can't smell fear, can it? Oh, it can definitely smell fear, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it looks like you got three circuit boards set up here and you got three set up for me over here. Yeah. Are you, you challenging me to a race? I think I am. I think we're gonna beat you. All right, let's give it a shot. Let's go. All right, so I've got a PCB board for both of us and an right. aluminum substrate that it's gonna fasten to. Okay. Six screws in each. The first one to get six okay results wins. Nice. What's this thing? This is a screw presenter. So for me, the Cobot's gonna be pulling out of this nice and easy. For you, well, good luck with that. Okay. I want a rematch. Let's do it. Give me one more chance. Really? One yeah. more? I'm sure. Okay. Let's try it. Beat you? Can we have one more in the middle? Oh no! <laughs> Close, but no. no chance. See, my robot wouldn't have forgotten that point. Man, you had a bit of an early celebration on that last part, didn't you? I thought I had you beat, but I missed a screw and I didn't get to the count of six, so I had way more red lights too. I don't think I can beat this robot. You know, I mean, you might even get to a place where you could beat the robot. However, this thing's always gonna be more consistent, right? Yeah, I think from a manufacturing engineering standpoint, knowing the time that the process takes is a huge value as well. Yeah, and you know, it frees me as an operator up to do something else, right? I could be doing the step before in the assembly process or maybe the step after, and it just saves time overall and makes the whole process more efficient. Yeah, I can see how that adds a ton of value. Well, Bruce, thanks for taking the time to show us the microtorque system and the Cobot. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having me, Jason. All right, we'll see you guys next time. All right. 